This gorilla and kitten give us the most agreeable BFF goals ever. Animals, whether domestic or wild, have been setting significant examples of their getting along with modernity for quite a while now, inspiring even mankind. After all, cat and dog become friends, goat and sheep love each other, and don't forget our favorites, the chick and the duck, were best companions and friends, among the animals at least. Whenever we're losing all hopes for humanity, there pops up tremendous examples that instantly restore our faith in the words of Mr. Tolkien, author of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, there's something good in this world and it's worth fighting for. A combo of intense and meaningful relationships that we're about to tell you about today portrays the value of life and importance of friendship, love, and care. We've come across with a list of the most amazing friendships that are sure to make you look twice before you believe it. You're about to come across the most out of the league friendship stories for sure. Bubbles, a 46-year-old elephant who was saved in 1984, now lives within the Tiger's Preserve premises near Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The poor baby was left orphaned after her herd was killed for their tusks, and she was fortunate enough as she was one of the countable baby elephants who were flown to the United States, while most of them were soon to be slaughtered and the rest starved to death. Over the decades, the sanctuary has always felt blessed to have such an adorable girl be a part of their family, where more than 100 other wild animals live. She sure is a popular one among her family, winning the award of the world's biggest movie star in her name. Well, she worked with Jim Carrey and Ace Ventura, Janet Jackson's music video, and has been in a lot of photo shoots for magazines and ads as well. We must say that's a lot of fame for an elephant. We're yet to introduce you to Bubbles' best friend, though. You should keep no doubts as unique as this pretty elephant is, her bestie is no different and is her partner in crime. While elephants are the biggest mammal on our planet, Labradors are awarded as the most friendly dog breeds. One is a wild species living in the woods while the other is known as a family pet and superb watchdog. But we can rightly say everyone needs some doggy sometime. Now if you're wondering how the two were introduced, that too has an interesting story behind it. While you're aware of Bubbles' story, her best friend has a whole different one and how Bella the Labrador ended up in that sanctuary next to her buddy. Bella came in the preserve with her own owner, who was in charge of constructing a water pool for Bubbles. Once the construction was completed, he abandoned Bella there by herself. But the poor little pup's story ended happily the moment she was first introduced with Bubbles as pictured. They both seemed to go against all the odds and stay in each other's company due to one big similarity. No, that's not four legs and a tail. Want to know what else could be similar to two completely different animal species? While elephants are famous to spending as much time as possible in the water, not all dogs like water like that. But Bella and Bubbles love to swim and play in the water, Bella loves to dive from Bubbles' back or ahead most of the times, and they both spend ample amount of time in the same pool that was built by Bella's former owner. We're glad that Bella found Bubbles and both are not just used to taking baths together, there's even more fun in their story. Just like other animals, after taking baths, they both love to take naps for a while. And here comes the interesting part, they both sleep together. While we understand it's hard for anyone to believe that a 9,000 pound elephant sleeps with a Labrador, Bella and Bubbles have their own understanding about everything, and same goes for their nap time. Bella loves chasing Bubbles whenever she takes anyone for a short ride on her back. They're both indeed happy to find each other and so are we. And you'll find the second story even weirder. Here's the reason why it could sound completely unrealistic to you. It's not the kind of friendship that you share with your school or college friends, but more the one you share with your pet. Hanabiko, known by her nickname Coco, was an 84-year-old female western lowland gorilla who's known for learning more than 2,000 hand signs as claimed by Francine Patterson, her instructor and psychologist. Coco was lent to Francine for her doctoral research, but the two have never been apart. Coco was born in a San Francisco zoo on July 4, 1971, and has been living in Woodside, California for most of her life. She's been famous for her sign techniques as you can see her with the late actor Robin Williams. Reportedly, she was even sad when she was informed of his death in 2014. She grabbed everyone's attention when she requested a Christmas gift of her own choice, and that was a shock for everyone. On one Christmas back in the 1980s, Coco, whose favorite book is The Three Little Kittens and Puss in Boots, asked for a kitten as her Christmas present. But we gave her a real life-like stuffed animal and she was terribly upset, recalls Ron Con, biologist. However, Coco was smart enough to know the difference and denied playing with the toy and kept indicating how sad it was. Soon on her next birthday, she was allowed to choose a kitten and she adopted a gray and white kitten named Allball. 
Cohn recalls, the cat was a manx and looked like a ball. Coco likes to rhyme words in sign language. Both were on National Geographic magazine's cover that month. Sadly, soon all ball died and Coco was left disheartened. Coco later got a new yellow cat whom she named Lipstick, but she too died after some time. And Coco, who adored her kittens a lot, was left alone. Coco, after Lipstick's death, got a cute gray tailless cat whom she named Smokey, who lived with Coco over many years. She passed in old age due to natural causes in 2004. Coco, who used to love the kittens like her mother, stayed kittyless for many years afterwards. But that wasn't it for her, as now she was about to get a bigger opportunity. In 2015, Coco got to choose Miss Gray, while Miss Black chose Coco. Coco, who showed the least interest in making close relations with other male gorillas and hence hadn't become a mother till her 40s, seemed to get connected with these kittens very closely. She cared for and pampered them just as she would have to her own baby gorilla. A funny famous incident about the innocence of Coco took place when she unintentionally broke a sink vase, and when she was asked who did it, she blamed one of her kittens. A human-like nature and such a tricky yet friendly gesture indeed. Coco and Bubbles aren't the only two though, we've got more on the list waiting. Who says you can have only one best friend? Not just humans tend to have a BFF group at times. There's also an amazingly unique trio of three different species of animals living together since childhood. During a drug raid in 2001, 18 years ago, three wild babies were rescued from terrible circumstances from a drug dealer's home in Atlanta who kept them in cages under his house. The three are famously known as BLT, the trio of Baloo the American Black Bear, Leo the Lion, and Shere Khan, the Bengal Tiger has been inseparable at the Noah's Ark Animal Sanctuary in Locust Grove, Georgia. How the three stick together in bad times is inspiring. All three were malnourished. Leo the lion was restricted in a cage that was too small and he even had an open infected wound on his nose. Baloo's condition was more serious, tied down with a harness that was never loosened as he started growing into his flesh. The poor cub then had to undergo a surgery to get the harness removed and to get his severely infected wound cleaned. The one time Baloo was separated for the surgery, the two cubs showed enormous anxiety. Later on, all three were brought together and were never separated for the next 15 years until one sad day when one of these brothers left. The trio won hearts around the globe by the unique brotherly bond they shared. More families visited the sanctuary especially to see a tiger, bear, and lion together. They were never released back into the wild as they were too injured to be rehabilitated, as stated by the sanctuary. All three are still equally affectionate with one another, Alison Hedgecoth, curator of the Noah's Ark, said in an interview. She says that time hasn't changed the family dynamics much. The three loved cuddling, eating, and playing, and taking baths together until the one day. August 16, 2016 ended their chill life phase when the heart-wrenching decision was made to let him go, as the group posted on Facebook. Leo died after months of not eating well, and while Leo underwent abdominal surgery, vets found that he had inoperable tumors in his liver. Animals are so perceptive and when the incredible bond that BLT had since being rescued together from a drug dealer's basement in 2001, it's highly likely that Baloo and Shere Khan knew their lion brother was terminally ill long before Leo began displaying outward symptoms, stated the sanctuary. And the brothers were also given the opportunity to say goodbye. He's watching over you guys, but most importantly he's watching over his brothers. They've been through thick and thin, hell and back, but the day you rescue them all together, it was like heaven for them, is written in the sanctuary. After Leo is gone, Baloo and Shere Khan are doing well and spend most of the time in their wood house where they used to stay with Leo. At the Bush Gardens in Tampa Bay, Florida, two young creatures are not getting enough of each other. They were the best of pals and it was too strange for the zookeepers. But who would say no to a friend who's exactly like us? Well, that's the reason what scientists think is behind this unique bond of B, a three-year-old giraffe and Wilma, a ten-year-old ostrich. Before you think they've held captive and that's why they came close, let us tell you that they have around 65 acres of free area to move, yet they stay close the entire time. B is more closely connected to her Wilma than Wilma is. This is all that zookeepers have observed so far. Jason Green, assistant curator at the park, said in an interview, B likes to use her tongue to explore her surroundings and Wilma isn't phased by those very close encounters. Both of them are protective of each other and they don't like any interruptions in their quality time with their best pals. There's plenty of opportunities for the animals to interact and know one another, Green explained. Giraffes and ostriches are both naturally curious animals too and they don't shy away from checking each other out, Green further added. 
Maybe now we know the main reason other than their long necks, which brought the two closer together and set an example for the rest of the world, which probably lies in their curious natures. Anjana was just two years old when she was given an opportunity to foster two white tiger babies, which she open-heartedly accepted. The two cubs were taken away from their mother when the sanctuary was flooded during a hurricane. It was important for their safety that they were separated, said China York, the chimp's caretaker, as well as of the adorable cubs who gave Anjana this chance and the chimp never let anyone down. Rather, she amazingly set up a motherly example around the globe. She picked up on the fact that I'm taking care of the babies so she wants to take care for them. She's not necessarily maternal, but she's really gentle. She likes to pet them and see how they're doing and if they're crying, she gives them a finger to pacify on like she would a baby or she gives them a bottle to feed them on, said China. Dr. Bhagavan told further, China's role means that she's the caregiver to hundreds of animals when they're born. Anjana has been with China side by side ever since she was born and has joined her in caring and raising baby animals. So she helped her and acted as a surrogate mother to these animals and she's done the same with these baby white tigers. She gives them a bottle, lies with them and acts as a surrogate mother. She has a close contact and bond and gives them nurturing. We must thank China York as without her assistance, we wouldn't have gotten the chance to see this amazing bond. And Mitra and Shiva, the two cubs, found their motherly love again while they were just a few weeks old. While we'd love to have our friends next to us all the time, that's not always the case. And the same can happen with animals too. Just like the story of Kasi, an eight-week-old cheetah and Imtani, a three-month-old lab pup. They were first introduced at the cheetah habitat of Bush Gardens in Tampa, Florida, and both became besties in a few minutes and were raised together. The two stayed together for two long years, celebrating everything together, playing with the sticks and having a beautiful brother-sister relationship, until one day a fair decision was taken and proved to be good for one and bad for the other. The pair gained a lot of fame as their pictures went viral and people just loved their bond. It was surely something amusing for everyone. But as time passed and Cassie was turning into a young adult, his interest was supposed to get diverted and it was obvious to introduce him to more members of his own species. He was introduced to Jenna, a calm-natured young female cheetah and hence Cassie now spent less time with Antani. We're currently exploring the best option for her. That would be continuing her role here at Bush Gardens as an animal ambassador, hanging out with Cassie when he's not with Jenna or going home with one of our trainers to live the life of a regular pup explained Anna Cheney, animal care specialist. A wild Turkish fox and a cat. While most of the stories happen due to some kind of human intervention, this one is completely opposite. We can't tell you what we name them as these wonderful friends belong to no sanctuary or zoo. Unaware of the beginning of their story, we can only say that one fine day, the two might have crossed paths and have been together ever since. As per the reports, the world got to know this weird yet admirable friendship when fishermen discovered this duo on the banks of Lake Van in Turkey. The word spread and soon the internet was overloaded with the recently captured images. No one would deny if given a chance to have a wise friend and so Roscoe, a blue tick hound stray dog who followed a member of a preserve one day and accepted the friendship proposal of Surya, a broken-hearted young orangutan who was depressed because of her parents' deaths and wasn't responding positively to medical treatment. The animal lovers took Roscoe in their shelters, he was too thin and seemed to be lost. He followed us through the gate and ran over and found Surya. As soon as Surya saw Roscoe, she ran over to him and they started playing. It was unusual because dogs are usually scared of primates, but they took to each other straight away. We made a few calls to see if he belonged to anyone and when no one came forward, Roscoe ended up staying, said members of the sanctuary. The Institute of Greatly Endangered and Rare Species, or Tigers, is a South Carolina preserve for endangered animals. Yes, let's take you back to our first story's location. The two greatly adore Bumbles and love to play with them at times. Surya pets Roscoe and loves to take him for walks daily, and Roscoe loves to grab the monkey biscuits that Surya gives him. A good choice for both of them now, they're not alone anymore, as they do most things together. Monkeys are known for their intense curiosity towards their surroundings and the same happened in the Dusseldorf Zoo in Germany. People have heard of the pair around the city but the world got to see these intriguing pictures when Connie Schmidt decided to go and have a look and she put them together. They were both allowed to roam free in the cage which was the tropical house part of the zoo. They seemed to really trust each other. The marmoset was very intrigued touching the iguana. I'd heard about them and the relationship as it's well known in the area, so these weren't just lucky pictures, Miss Schmidt later explained. 
And yes, we all came across friends who fight, talk, and fight again. No matter how distant, we still love them. This is just the same with Jibra and Fum. In May 2010, when they were just one month old, they met, and Fum, a generous, playful black cat, and Jibra, a kind and trustworthy barn owl, they both enjoy spending time together. But that doesn't always happen. At times, Fun would rather be busy and hunting than to follow Jebra on her daily outing. Later, Jebra mostly uses to spend the rest of her day in her semi-dark place. For years, they shared a sweet and sour bond which ended on May 4th, 2013, when Fum passed away due to sickness, leaving the world with a lesson to enrich every moment we get. Anne Young, an amateur photographer, clicked these pictures when she was on holiday in Bali. This wild, long-tailed macaque adopted an abandoned kitten and now is very protective of her and doesn't even want anyone to take their picture. In the monkey forest in Ubud, Bali was clicked while playing with her and introducing the ginger kitten to her other monkey friends. He wasn't causing any harm to her or rather keeping her safe and even the kitten seemed to be comfortable with her old friend. In some ways, capybaras are even more magical than unicorns because they're real, says Melanie, the 100-pound capybara owner, and further added, most commonly they'll call him a giant hamster or giant guinea pig. Those people tend to like him and be interested in learning more. Sometimes people will call him a giant rat. Those people are typically more standoffish or even hostile or afraid. This capybara's name is Gary and he loves to play with other animals, but his favorite is Flopsy the cat who loves to keep a watch on Gary wherever he goes. Melanie further told about keeping a wild animal, you have to earn their love. The love of a basically wild animal is a special kind of love. It hasn't been conditioned into them for centuries. If they love you, it's honest, genuine, and intense. Gary's really very smart and he's very affectionate. He comes when he's called and he likes to sleep with me. While cats are furry and we've been domesticating them for don't know how long, iguanas are newly trending and most of us won't prefer to bring one home but people share their wonderful experiences when it comes to an iguana. They're bearded, curious, and very rare to get along with cats. But when Baby, a male cat, and Charles, a female bearded dragon, a type of iguana, were introduced by Cheyenne and Isaac of Virginia Beach, Virginia, who decided to marry, wanted to see if their distinguished pets will manage to stay together. I knew Baby wouldn't hurt Charles when he went right up to her, sniffed, and rubbed up against her, said Cheyenne, who further added, One day I had Baby on my lap and Charles on my chest. Charles was looking to keep warm because she's a reptile and crawled down into my lap to cuddle with Baby. Baby loved it and cuddled back, even holding her and rubbing his face against hers. Saving a mouse from flooded water in North India, this frog definitely became a true friend in need. These extraordinary pictures were taken by Azam Hussein who was chilling next to the water. Azam said, I had parked my scooter on the shore near the pond. I noticed something floating and soon realized it was a rat holding onto some piece of debris. It was as if the two creatures were talking in their own way. The next moment, the rat managed to climb onto the back of the frog. All this happened very fast. I quickly reached for my bag and took out my camera. Azam further added, I managed to take a few pictures. I was fascinated with the way the frog swam and the rat held on tight. They were like friends. Sadly, I couldn't catch the moment when the frog reached the shore and the rat just sped away. I looked around for a bit, but both the little creatures had just gone back into their world. Thamba was just six months old when her mother died after falling off a cliff. The vets in the Sambona Wildlife Reserve tried hard for any mother elephant to take his charge, but sadly that never happened, and the staff had to take Themba in her shelter so she didn't starve to death. In South Africa, Themba the elephant and Albert the sheep surprised everyone at the forest reserve with their unusual friendship. When they met the first time, that wasn't quite encouraging interaction, we must tell you that. Naturalist Lyndall Davies recalled, all hell broke loose. Themba made a dash for the sheep and chased him around his watering hole. The next morning, Albert was clearly bored and started venturing out into the main enclosure. Themba wouldn't leave Albert's side and the two were seen exploring their enclosure together, with Themba's trunk resting on Albert's back. Ever since that moment, Themba and Albert have been inseparable. Dr. Joan Joubert said, Albert is like a brother to Themba and he is definitely an important member of Themba's herd. We were a bit concerned to start that we may end up with an elephant that thought it was a sheep, however it's turned out the other way around. Albert copies everything Themba does, in fact they almost have the exact same diet. Albert is the first sheep I've ever seen eat a thorny acacia bush. He's been studying Themba and worked out that the best way to get his mouth around the long sharp thorns is to reach the juicy leaves. Unfortunately, two years later in February 2013, Themba passed away due to a severe situation. Just later that month, they were about to introduce him back into the wild. 
Out of so many mind-blowing stories, which one is your favorite? Well, when there's no hope left in life, animals sure tell us, despite their different nature, species, and breeds, we all want to love and be loved at times.